Promoter. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with some Genshin Impact. Also, I just got off of work, and I am super tired. <laughs> God, I can barely talk. So today's video is actually going to be a very relaxing type video, because I'm just going to be screwing around with some Genshin. Because I want to play and relax after school, after school, after work, school work, it's the same thing, really. So, I hope you like this video. Because I sure just want to play some Genshin right now. There's a whole new island for me to explore, and I have not done much of it because literally the day Genshin decided to actually release something that was not an easy to do event that I could finish in like an hour, they decided to release the big heavy update. So that's always fun. Who's over here? It's fucking the Herchalurks or whatever you pronounce them. I play this game in Japanese and with very low sound because I usually end up listening to a podcast in the background. I think it is safe to say that I am terrible at understanding what is going on in Genshin at any given point. There was a whole bunch of tax talk at the beginning and I'm looking for someone but I have not played much of the main campaign other than that. I understand certain beats of the story. I don't know if I mentioned this but at the beginning of Genshin I really did skip a lot of the story and then some friends of mine, of the other members of the Trash Alliance, said this story is worth paying attention to. So I said okay. Um, and so I started paying attention to, to after that. But to be honest, there's so much worse in Genshin, and they lose me so quickly too. Sometimes I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm playing on Japanese, but I have such low attention rating for so many of the things. But I still enjoy the story beats from when they happen. Like they have some pretty cool character moments and stuff like that. Like I liked hanging out with Fu Tao, Rex, you know, things like that. But in general, I come to this game to explore and destroy dudes in that order. Sometimes, oh, I don't know. find these things right here. Electro. So that was the funny thing is that in the beginning of the game, I had no idea that the Traveler could be multiple elements. Because I don't remember the game ever there ever being a tutorial, and I actually had to go back and look and see. Did they ever tell you that? No, you just had to click on the Geo thing, from what I remember. So for the longest time, I had no idea how you got Geo Traveler, and I think I had I was like deep in Geo territory without <laughs> knowing that. I think I had finished the main story before I had actually unlocked Geo for the Traveler, just to show you maybe maybe my attention span is just bad. At a certain point, how much is it the game's fault and how much is it mine? I think it's a 50-50 shot on that one. But I'm also positive that almost every single other player in Genshin was able to just... Can you not climb the waterfall? Okay, sure. Was able to get it, no problem. But to be, I also did not look up anything in Genshin, so I had no idea that you could do that until... No, I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. This would be good. Particles collected. What does that mean? How do I do this? Do I have to go... Is that one? Okay. I don't 100% know how to do this. Oh, I see. It's LX. I'm dumb. I didn't notice that down there, so let's try that again. Alright. Wee. Alright, this is pretty cool. Oh, this must be how... I think the, this is the first time I've done anything like this. So, go here. Oh god. Oh god, give me the thingy. Oh god, no, I don't want to summon right now. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Dang. Let me try that again. Keep failing at it. Keep going for it. Alright. Go. Oh, come on. 
I guess it has to be very specific whenever this thing is up. There we go. Go down here, go down here. Go up here. Oh god. I fail this again. Yeah, I was right. I did fail that again. Alright, third time's a charm, I think. This is the problem with trying to do a puzzle when you're extremely tired. Alright. Come on. Okay. There we go. The activation for this is not 100% clear about what I have to do at any given time. Alright. How come I can't go up there? How come I can't go any higher? No? Okay. Dang, dang. Maybe I have to let go? I don't believe you matter how to activate this super thing again. Alright! Maybe if I just let go? See, look, it activated there for a second, but how? This makes no sense! I don't wanna go down. I mean, it doesn't even matter if I collect these, because it doesn't... Because there's, like, one big-ass thing I'm missing. How did I fuck that I get up here? I don't even know. I don't even know. Gonna go again. If you actually stuck with this this long, let it be known that this video does not end until I complete this. Why would they make this? Why does Genshin do anything? I'm just gonna stop. I'll just wait now. There's no reason for me to continue on. Why would they make the 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 the, the pulley button the same as the one that summons this fucking menu? That doesn't make any sense to me. There's literally so many other buttons. There's an entire L2 goddamn button on here that I'm not doing for anything. Why do I have to press the left bumper? Alright, go. Okay. I guess the answer to sometimes you can go up because the game wants you to be able to go up. There we go. There we go. I need to go up here. No, I need to quickly go here. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we got it. I still have no idea. If you want to explain to me how that works, feel free to. But I'm going to assume that it's all random. Whether you do anything. At least it sure felt like it was random when I was doing it. Eat electricity. Failed. Just like the Traveler. I actually don't have the travel fully leveled because I've never used the Traveler for anything but doing Geo stuff. I'm not sure if the Traveler is good or if there's a way to make them good, but it's always been my feeling that the Traveler kind of sucks. But apparently they're not that bad. I actually don't know because I don't use the Traveler except for the Geo stuff. I don't use Wind very often either except for uh, Sucrose because that's the only other Wind unit I have. Hello, Samurai Man. You're not going to be able to touch me. Because you're just going to head into the water and get frozen. Like a dum dum. Yep. Hello, Samurai Man. I'm sure that this is not the way the game intended you for to be able to beat him. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck touching this asshole. <laughs> oh no, what is he going to do? Nothing. You're literally trapped in the never-ending cycle of being frozen. 
You're like Christopher Lloyd in um, Suburban Commando. Alright, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was doing this stuff. Alright, let's go up here. See what's up here. I'm kind of interested to see what's over here. Oh god, I'm gonna, totally gonna run out of fucking stamina, aren't I? Ah, <sighs> stamina systems. Totally fun and not actually completely terrible in every single assets of them. Imagine how much better a game Genshin would be if they removed the stamina system. It would be ten times better. I actually don't understand why they kept it other than it's supposed to be a weird clone of Breath of the Wild. But out of all the things they didn't, you know, you know, weapon durability, they have their own shitty weapon, weapon system, which is another can of worms. I think I would actually prefer it if all my weapons broke rather than to actually have to pay to pull on a weapon banner, but that's neither here nor there. What the fuck was I talking about? I don't understand why they kept the, the stamina. It's not fun. It actively discourages exploring. Because I want to be able to climb any mountain and not just have to eat some stupid food to make my climbing experience better. This doesn't make sense to me. It's bad design. That's how I feel about it. And I've still played too much of this game. Even with this extremely bad mechanic that I don't like. But what other games have I played a whole bunch that have mechanics I don't like? Payday 2. Played a lot of Payday 2. Too much Payday 2. More than any one man should really play, to be honest. And even then, not as much as the people who actually play a lot of Payday 2 play. That makes sense. That was a smart sentence I just said. Keep climbing up this fucking rock. Oh god. I have to stop making it go faster because now I'm not sure if Ganyu's just gonna kill herself by accident. Alright, let's take a rest up here. Say hello. Oh! Close up shot. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually probably well the reason I included it. I can't- I still can't believe that they have this... You have to actively fight the camera to get a decent butt shot in this game. It's unbelievable. They should have a toggle for that. And I guess in the parts of the world where the, it's not acceptable to do that, I guess, they can just uh, forever blur it. But in America, where I live, we there's a choice to everything. We should just have a toggle for it. It's not even technically censorship. It's just silly. I'm not coming at it from that point of view. It's more like, why would you do this? Because they do it for the men as well, and you can't look up dudes' butts. I would show that if I had a dude, but I don't. I don't think I have a single usable dude. I don't really pull up a four or five. Oh, I have dilute, but I haven't um, trained them. I'm going to have to probably let go of this, or she dies. Oh, yeah, baby. Climbing a rock. It's actually very, uh, you know, serene right now, climbing this rock. No music really playing because it's nighttime, of course. Come on. If you're going to add a stamina system, there's no reason for that kind of interaction with rocks that should exist. Climb up. Come on, girl. You got it. No! And it sounds like the other people in my house are waking up. So now that I've climbed the rock, thank you everyone for joining me. Oh, I really did not have much time to record a video, but thank you very much if you watched it. Until next time, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. There you go. Stop recording.